the rocky shore, that's the country I really live in. You see the seagulls there, and there what the herring are. And that, that is such a wonderful thing to be there. I, I'm a professional fisherman, and uh, uh, this is actually what I really like most. This is why I can't paint it like that. So I will show you. The magic of oil painting is made possible by a grant from Aaron Brothers Art Mars. Almighty brainwash, but I know that I'm home there, and it is just a wonderful dream when you sit in your boat, you are out there against the sun sometime, and you see hundreds of seagulls flying up and down, and the herring are there, and the salmon eating the herring, and you just drop in your fishing line and you catch the salmon there. So, in in but other words, butter yourself up and be right in that seascape there and uh, then it becomes easy to paint. Now the colors we use a bit different. Uh, magic white is on the canvas. So I will use a kind of a turquoise color, uh, 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 viridian or what you call it. Uh, uh, they have funny names for their paint. Uh, uh, kind of a, a turquoise color, that's maybe the best name I can say. Petola. Uh, you know, I never, I don't know why we uh, not use uh, English names for our paint. I still don't understand it, because I, I still forget it all the time. There's alizarin crimson, there is a uh, taylor green, that's taylor green, that's taylor, now I know it. That's taylor green, and to me it is turquoise. Happy little turquoise. You see, now I put the happy little turquoise on my canvas. And you can fire it right in to the water too. See, that makes it nice. Uh, condition the whole thing. Uh, there you are, there you are, there you are. You see, all the swimming pools are lined with this kind of a paint. It resembles water. It makes you feel wet. Maybe that's the whole idea. Okay. Now on top I will use a touch of Prussian blue. I don't wash my brush. If you see how I want to do it. Now you see the brushes soaked with that uh, tail green, now I touch a little bit of Prussian blue and, and fire in here, there, on top. Just a little bit of, make it dark on top, see? That turns a funny color there, that's good. See? Now, the next step, the next step, you can use a fan brush and you, 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 you can use kind of a, a, a little crimson, a little crimson and a bit of mud, a bit of mud, and you create a couple of clouds there. Mud that means Van Dyke Brown. Van Dyke Brown is the earth color. Create some clouds for everyone. And make it perspective right, a bit smaller there, and a bit smaller there, and a bit smaller there. Wherever you want to put the cloud and fire them, but fire them like I show you. Don't go out and look at them and say, here's one cloud and this other cloud. They move in no time, they have them spread out everywhere. Just fire them in like that. There you are. See? Use your big brush now. Use your big brush, your almighty brush. <coughs> and hypnotize it a little bit like this. See? Then you, 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 you. Highlight that, put the light in somewhere. I use a touch of uh, red and white. Look, a touch of red and white. Take a good look on that here. See, like this. It's off white. And then finally, wherever you think the, 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 the light will be, we say the sun is here somewhere. The, the highlights are there. There's the sun hiding behind that cloud there. And then you highlight it here a little bit, and there a little bit, and there a little bit. Yeah, that 
the sun hits it there, 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 there. See? Don't, uh, don't, uh, because light is everywhere, highlights on the clouds. They can be on the side, they can be in the front, they can be everywhere, there. Beautiful. <coughs> the next touch, make sure you have a dry brush. Hypnotize the whole thing. See? Okay. Now I will fire in that water there. You can run a little bit of lines out if you want to. Give you a little bit more spark. So, uh, a little crimson and Prussian blue, a little touch of that, and you create a kind of a horizon line or a water line, the end of the, the, the sea there, and a bit more on the side there, see, and let it get lighter, lighter, let that light reflect into the water there, and then you out and out and get harder there again, like this. See, a little crimson and a touch of Prussian blue is in that color. A little crimson and, it, and now you create kind of a water movement, whatever you, just water movements. Let that water move forward and back. Water movements, water movements. Yeah, let it dance there and there, little baby. So, and let that light be in the center there, or wherever you have the light in the, on the canvas. See, then we create, we create, we create kind of a wave coming up here. Rolling in. Hey, let it stand up there. Okay, you can have a little bit of a movement in the back there, like the other swelling is behind there. Okay, yeah, and then you can come forward. Forwards, forwards, with the big, bigger one there. And as you come forward, you have more colors. You got more, more spark, more umpa. Okay. That means this is darker, it's lighter, 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 as you are on doing the things. come out and always you see whatever you see it is the philosophy of all I do you make a mountain you have it light on the bottom and powerful on top light on the bottom powerful on top that means if you have the same color all the way through you have no beginning always from the dark into the light and dark against the light dark against the light and you come forward 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 and that's the whole thing when you paint it's not only on the sea, it's in the land, it's whatever you will do, that is a wonderful idea to do. <coughs> okay, clean that almighty brush. The next step, white and a touch of red, white and a touch of red, but look off white, see, off white, it is, it is more white, but a touch of red. Now you can even pronounce it a bit more in, in that cloud because you want to have that that's what goes into to the water now, see? Okay. See, there you are. Just let it dance in the way you want. Gives you beautiful, the world, close to the light is the most power. And after light, it gets easier and easier and, and darker and darker and darker. You can even, if you want, you can brush it out a little bit. Like this. Good. Now, the same colors, the same color in the sun is here on the horizon line. You see the water, dan the sun, or the light is dancing into that water there. Ah, 
already it start it start exciting you it gets excited now you can create a kind of a highlight on this little wave there see and the highlight here a little bit but let it disappear in the dark don't worry too much what's going on there have that lead that light right to the, the middle of the painting now or whatever you can have it on the side but this happened we have it there so it's got to be there that we have to lead it like that see there you are now we highlight this again And now you come closer, you can already give him kind of a, in a closer look, you can give him a little bit of water down movements. The water is coming down, you see. And you see that. See here, it's still a bit further off, so don't worry too much there. If you do, it's fine, but I think as close you come, as more you see it. Okay, now we go still closer, the same color, white and red, and highlight crown this here too. Here with the fan brush you can really look at that just press it hard and you, you get already the foam standing on top or whatever hey there now you can have show them more of this kind of uh, movements down because you are close see okay we do it like this the water is moving in like this and now comes the trouble now comes the problems. The problems, you have to put stones in, use your almighty knife and put the stones in wherever you, uh, wherever you, you see them or wherever you, wherever you feel they look the best. Okay, so let's put in the stone maybe here. Hey there, one. I do it with a knife and you can if you want to you can you can settle that stone right into the water by by cutting it off there see and let the water go around it would look like this see you can let that come around like this see a little bit sound a little bit show that stone because the colors are there anyway but that means the water you can even dance the water up on that stone if you want to see that's fine the next one the next one now you can put so many stones in if you love all the stones put them in fire them in See, a lot of movements, a lot of movements, a lot of movements. Maybe here we put one in. Now I better bury all the stones. The water has to be around. The water has to be around there. Uh, here we may let the water run up first, see? Up like this. See how easy that is. Now you can move up, you can move up like water is running off all the time. You see that little bit of up sweep gives you water running down. There you are. You hear the same. See what, it, what happened now? If I, I sweep it up a little bit like this, you see, look, now the water is running off. Can you see it? It comes from, it clears the stone on top. Okay. That's very important to, to get these ideas. Okay, let's put a couple more stones in. Alison Crimson. 
Van Dyke brown, Prussian blue. If you get those colors, they are good together. Mix it the colors you think would be nice. Maybe here we make a bigger one standing there. It's on the crooked side. Can you imagine your boat gets out of control and you run into those stones? That's a beautiful feeling. <clears throat> that is a beautiful feeling. <clears throat> I had that problem once at a time. I don't want to have it anymore. Okay, look at that. Yeah, and I think back they called the Coast Guard even. And I feel ashamed of myself after. Okay, see again. Now here is a good, make a close, close, nice look on that particular stone here, which where you put the water movements in. And see now, I move it up. See? Up. Up. Up a little bit. See, by doing that, you get that feeling the water is running off. See, here on top, you can just use water on top. Now watch. And you can run it off from the top again. See, watch. See, now you run it off from the top. So you learn a lot of wonderful things right now already. You can have the water coming over like this here. You can have it, watch. See, over that other stone. That stone is behind. See? Uh -huh. Now I got ya. I got ya. See, and then you have that. That is just the water. And then you can run that off too if you want. See, maybe in the crevices. Yeah. And I go into finer details. But that is the way I usually do my water scene. And then in the front, sometimes you let it come down like this. You know, like uh, it's dripping off steep. Or here, you know, let it drip off. Let it drip off there. It's always wrong when you have to paint in between because I then that means you goofed. When I goof, sometimes I have to go in between. That's not the right idea. So. <clears throat> See, now you can run a lot of lights in between. The sun is up there, it's the light, and you run that same happy light between the stones. Now that will be always here. Let let the light dance there some way. Let the light dance there. See, make it all dance in the center and let it disappear to the outside. Darker here, darker there. That, that's just perfect. But in the center, make it light so that leads your whole eyes come through like this. Okay, let's just get here one, one almighty stone. One almighty stone. Yeah. But you see, you press hard and you don't mind having all those funny movements there. No paint. Try to paint with no paint. Because it as more paint you plaster on, as hard it is to go over it again. Okay. Next on mighty step, use your mighty fan brush again. Use your almighty fan brush again. Maybe here we light it a little bit. Here, try to go with the light now. Let hits it wherever here a little bit. Can you see what it does? The sun, bang, bang, let it hit now on here a little bit. Let it hit there. We already showed it there. That gives you a happy tune in that painting. And it will look exciting. 
It's really exciting. You see there, the water's dancing in between. And you know, it's nice sometimes sitting there barefoot, just on that little stone and watch what's going on underneath there. All those little traps and, and sometimes little ugly, ugly animals floating around there. Okay, here we will do the same. We will do the same. Light against light is not the right thing to do. It's not the right thing to do. The light. Okay. Against that light here, it's always better you have a cold, uh, a harder, harder movement there. See, and as you come forward, that stone getting lighter, lighter, lighter as you put it into the water there. <coughs> Then you can create, you can create uh, 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 movements. See what I do here? You create kind of uh, running movements. See? But I wouldn't touch the top too much. Create a new beginning there and there. That's the nature of when you paint, you create illusions. Even you would argue sometimes, you would say that stone is, is light there too, but then Light against light, nothing against nothing is nothing. And if you don't understand it, it's hard to, to paint. It's hard to paint. Now we put a little bit of blue sparks in. See, that makes that stone really, really jump out now. Kind of a blue, a little in crimson and blue that gives you this, uh, this, this kind of a mountain color. Kind of a mountain color. See, there you are. And the shadow side, I won't worry too much. Don't worry too much. Yeah. And now here, let's just try to understand there's already these sand maybe type parts of sand movements and 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 you see already the bottom so we will create that in this direction in this direction okay. as we come forward there like that and maybe here we lift the whole side up. We lift the whole side up, that because maybe that runs in like this. Whatever he wants to see. I just want to complete, fill in that whole deal there, and that can be done any good old way. You can have driftwood lying there. There's all kinds of, of stuff lying there, what you can had more time I could show you all kinds of crazy ideas. Sometimes we had paintings done, the Navy had, uh, they, they came by and they had a party there and the beer bottles was hanging in the water and, and what and what and what and you just paint along with that. You can put that all in. See here I will just make it kind of a water sweeping down there. See, something like that. Try to make it shiny looking. And it can be only done by, by, by sparking it. It is not the, the, the long line what does, it's that little spark. Dots, little dots will do a great job on water. But on the right spot all the time. If you do it on the right side, see? See that little dots are doing more to, to the shine in the water, then I would put the uh, tons of... Uh, same when you paint glasses. It's that little dot that brings that ping out of the glass. <clears throat> mm -hmm. You see? Now we come to a happy ending. What we will do, we will put a happy couple happy seagulls in there. Ryan, happy there. See what it is? Just bang, bang. Now, how many seagulls you want? That's one. That's 
two. That's the other one flying that way. The one is flying upside down. He's dipping into the water. He's just, he's just sees a fish down there. And now they're going this way. And now they're this way. Hey, there you are. More and more and more and more. <coughs> and now, how many seagulls you want? I saw the painting once, and the guy said, I want more seagulls. I said, but I think they're enough. He said, but I want more. Then he said, I give you a dollar a seagull. I said, all right, then how many you want? So I painted the best seagulls in my life, always a dollar, always a dollar. That's the way you do it. Well, I thought I had enough seagulls in that already. So there we are. That is it. I hope you like it. Thank you for watching me. Bye bye. to overwhelming viewer requests, KOCE has prepared a personal guide to Bill Alexander's Magic of Oil Painting 3. To receive your copy of this instructional book on Bill Alexander's painting technique, please send $8 to Magic 3, Post Office Box 2703, Huntington Beach, California, 92647.